My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. I'm going to give you my bets for UFC Charlotte. This is an interesting card. A couple of huge favorites that we're confident in. A couple of underdogs that can make some stuff happen as well. So let's go ahead and talk about these bets. But before I give you my bets, I want to give you 50 bucks. All you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our betting partners, make a deposit, and I send you 50 bucks. It's literally that simple. It's affiliate marketing, right? They're going to pay me. I'm going to break off some of that money and I'm going to give it right back to you because I care about this damn community. We all make money together. We want picks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit. I will send you $50. Let's talk about last week, UFC 288, super successful. Safety parlay hit. That is now plus 7.6 units on the year. We're not even halfway through the year. 7.6 units on this one thing, on the safety parlay alone, let alone the other bets. I was up units. Jacob's massive underdog of the week, absolutely crushed. So UFC 288 was a success. That safety parlay continues to be a wild success, hitting at more than a 70% clip. So become a premium member now at wewantpicks.com. Just click become a member. It's $10. You unlock the safety parlay and so much more. You also get things like the line movement tracker. This is very helpful when placing bets. You can see that line movement. And then if you agree with it, great. If you don't, then you can hop off a fighter. For example, Court McGee opened at plus 140. He's going to close in the minus 180 range. So wild line movement for him. There's three fighters on this card that open as underdogs will be closing as favorites. And that's something to keep an eye on and something to help you identify your spots or at least avoid a couple of landmines. Again, this and everything else available to premium members for only $10 a month. Let's talk about, before I give you my actual bets, Let's talk about some of my most confident plays, some of my most confident underdogs. And the reality is, this is a pretty easy card, right? The most confident favorites, Jolton Almeida, Carlos Ulberg, and Carl Williams. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Jolton Almeida, he's actually, of these three, he's the biggest favorite, and he's actually the most concerning for me. Because if he doesn't get those early takedowns, we don't know what his cardio looks like. We don't know if he can take a punch at heavyweight. There's a lot of things we don't know but I still expect him to come forward, get the takedown, and do what he does. The reality is, Biggie Boy has been taken down by all the better heavyweights, and I think at this point we can call Jolton a better heavyweight. Carlos Ulberg fighting a brawler, obviously should be concerned, right? You never know when you're fighting somebody with the power of Ihor Pateria, with the wild unorthodoxness of Ihor Pateria, but Carlos Ulberg is a legitimate world level tried and true kickboxer who will be in a striking fight you got to go with the better striker in that matchup so very confident in carlos uberg and carl williams at minus 425 that got wide right we got him a much earlier put some money on him in the minus i think twos or threes potentially but that line took off he's fighting chase sherman chase sherman is pretty tough chase sherman's takedown defense is pretty good people saying it's not good it's good go watch his fights he was taken down by Alexander Romanov. Outside of that fight, it's pretty hard to take down Chase Sherman. So, Carl Williams should get this done, though. He's got solid hands, good cardio, and solid wrestling. Underdog-wise, Pete Rodriguez was everybody's favorite underdog. Well, that absolute clown loser bum couldn't make weight. Literally quit cutting weight. Didn't even get to the scale. Didn't even attempt. Quit. He's done. He's a quitter. I can't say quit enough. Second time this dude has done this to you guys in the last three weeks. Guy's a bum. Should be cut. He's done. He's a quitter clear enough so no pete rodriguez i feel bad for jacob because he did the research he made the read and honestly i was getting a little nervous that pete might beat natan but he's not beating anybody because he's an absolute bum that can't make weight but brian battle i think is a very solid underdog at plus 112 the guy's an absolute killer check him out on the scale ridiculous shape and we talk about that his body transformation between fights we talk about his just absolute relentless pressure he will never give up in a fight his last fight he was taken down what felt like 76 times, and at no point did he have both shoulders on the mat just giving up. He was always working forward, always coming up. And then Johnny Walker, he's minus 109, but he is the underdog. And I think Johnny Walker could absolutely win this fight. I mean, we know how tough his opponent is. We know uh, the hell he has been through. But the reality is that Johnny Walker is a dangerous guy. Johnny Walker has seemed to put it together again, right? He was a great fighter, hit a skid, and he seems to be putting it together again, where Anthony Smith has always been very tough, always been durable, always been a very solid striker, pretty well-rounded, has submissions as well, but he's got this cushy desk job. And I think things are, are just starting to 
He's starting to focus on his post-fight career as he should be. So I got to go with Johnny Walker in this fight. I think he's a solid underdog. There's also a few others. The woman fighting Jessica Rose Clark, for example. We'll talk about that in a second. But she's now a favorite. And you can see that here. I had Tanera Lisboza. This is my money. Tanera Lisboa. I got her at plus 122. Jacob got her at plus 130. She is now a minus 123 favorite. We talk about premium membership. One of the things you get with premium, it's only $10 a month. You're going to get everything that has ever existed under the sun in this space. But you're also going to be able to link your Discord account, which is going to give you alerts to your phones the second we place bets. Tanera Lisboa, if you saw mine, you saw Jacob's, you got that at plus money. She is now a minus 123 favorite. That is a pretty big swing. And if you're throwing a good amount of money on that, that matters. Every point matters. So solid uh, return on investment there if she gets this done. I mentioned Brian Battle. I have a uh, 0.2 units. Unit for me is 100 bucks. So I threw 20 bucks on each one of them at plus money. Uh, I've got like four units or something like that on this card going. Then a couple of prop bets. Smith Walker over one and a half rounds. I get it. Johnny Walker's last two fights winning in the first round. Johnny Walker, a lot of fights don't get out of the first round, good or bad. But Anthony Smith is stupid tough. He's also not the most dangerous guy in the division, right? So I think this fight goes a little bit. I think Johnny Walker's going to come at him. I think Johnny Walker does win this fight, but Anthony Smith is tough. He's durable. He's a tried and true vet at this point. He may even look to wrestle to slow down what's happening on the feet. So I like the over one and a half rounds, dead even money at plus 100. Then this is a bet. I tailed this from Jacob. Brian Battle wins inside the distance. Decision no action at plus 150. All this is saying is if Brian Battle wins this fight by finish, I will get paid plus money. But if this fight goes to a decision, win or lose, I get a refund. And I love that bet because Brian Battle is stupid tough. Gabe Green is not the toughest guy. Like, Sorry, not the most dangerous guy. He's very tough. But Gabe Green is not going to go out there and just finish Brian Battle. So what I envision here, worst case scenario, is I get a refund. Best case scenario, I hit the Brian Battle money line and plus 150 money on a finish. Then I have um, two parlays going. I have over two and a half rounds in a prop parlay. I got Kim Bohm and then Green Battle plus 106. So I got a lot going. If Brian Battle gets finished, I'm going to lose a good amount. But if it goes to a decision, uh, I'm good, right? This parlay should hit. And if Brian Battle wins, not only does the parlay hit, but I get the money line. And then we have... Carl Williams and Carlos Ulberg smack those two together as a money line parlay. It's minus 153 when I got it. Now minus 194 again. Become a premium member at wewantpicks.com. Link your Discord. The Discord's free. You can join the Discord anyway. But if you're a premium member, make sure you link it. You get cool little yellow in the chat and you unlock some channels, including the premium alerts channel where you can set that up to push notification to your phone the second we place bets. That is most important, like on Sundays, when we start placing a lot of these bets, but also Fridays, because Fridays is when Bet Online starts to drop those significant strike prop bets and the uh, takedown prop bets. And we hammer those when those come out. And those lines move very, very, very quickly. So the alerts are incredibly important. But we can't leave this video without talking about the safety parlay and Jacob's bets. I'll get to Jacob's in a second. But the safety parlay, this is for premium members only. This is the safety parlay for every single event in 2023. It is up 7.6 units. It is hitting at over 70%. And honestly, look closely. A couple of these wins had adjusted odds. So 0 0.3, 0 0.2, when those were should have been a unit or close to it. So the fact that we're up 7.6 is already amazing, but it should be closer to 9 or 10. But we had some drop fights. And you know when parlays, a fight drops, it just adjusts the odds. But... If the only thing you ever did, let's say a unit for you is $10, and the only thing that you ever did was pay $10 for premium, go in there, and then tail the safety parlay, well, we're in month five. So 50 bucks gone, 7.6, you'd be up 2.6 units on the safety parlay. You can't beat that, and this 7.6 units is just net profit. Once you factor in your membership fees, it is still up. Very, very solid. Hits at over 70% win rate. Unlock that now at wewantpicks.com. And here's a quick sample. Jacob's got more than uh, 10 units going. And I'm filming this before all of those props drop. So when those drop, I guarantee there will be more. 
And here's a quick sample of what he has. The rest of them will be for premium members only. Alex Morono, minus 212. Cody Stamen, minus 155. He did do a nice little flyer on Jarzinho Rosenstruck first round KO TKO at plus 1,200, which that's shockingly high because if he wins the fight, that's how. So that's a surprisingly high. I mean, that those odds should be closer to his money line. But anyway, he got that at plus 1,200. Then Ian Gary wins by decision, plus 125. I personally like Daniel Rodriguez, but that's a phenomenal bet because Daniel Rodriguez is super tough. Ian Gary winning a decision at plus one money when he's a minus two some odd favorite is a solid, solid bet. Guys, don't forget, I will give you 50 bucks. I pay out thousands of dollars a week. All you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Make sure you use our link to create your account, make a deposit, and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you. That's wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit. We will send you 50 bucks.